Hey everybody, Hooky TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license, no shot on his 21st birthday, uh, no rental, he ain't rented nothing, he ain't nothing. So everything that we do and it's easy to us, his kids is never gonna see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter. We only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and God's going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for y'all time. Hey everybody, UTVX Common Sense, man. Martin Lawrence, man. Something going on with our boy Marty Marr, man. Something ain't right. It's gotta be a medical issue that had happened with that stroke or he just playing tired of damn Hollywood. Something going on, man. He ain't the same, he ain't acting right. He ain't moving right, he ain't talking right. Ever since he had that stroke in what, what when was that, 99? It ain't been the same, man. Ever since he made that, uh, uh, what was the last good movie he made? Uh, I can't remember, man, right now. Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Or either that or Nothing to Lose. But when he started getting to the other ones, he, he, just, he just wasn't right, man. Something was wrong with the brother. He ain't been acting the same. Yeah, Will Smith having to walk him around. Hold him. Uh, 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 basically talk, talk for him, keep him, keep him on point in the interviews and it's just sad to see, man, cause we know Martin from the Martin show, man, that's my, that's one of my, that's my favorite show, actually. Favorite show, man. I still watch that shit to this day. It's still fun. I still crack up laughing, man. Dragonfly, come on, man. Jerome, come on, man. Oh, Otis. Come on, man. And it's sad to see him like that, man, to where he's not in his fully, fully functioning, man. I mean, it's like Hollywood done beat him down so much, and he and it seemed like he had to do his very best to try and get this movie done. And they talking about if you want to continue to for for bad boys to keep going, they willing to do what they can't. Martin ain't in the, in, in the right hell for that, man. Sorry to say, man, that's one of my favorites too, man. And they got him out there, man. He. Uh, 
I hate to see him out there like that, man. It's sad. It's real sad, man, because when you know him, when you go back and look at his shows and, and you compare it to, you can, I mean, and we know he, he older now. We get that. We understand that. But it's different. It's, uh, his mind not clicking back. It's not snapping like he, like he used to with the fast snaps and being funny and you know it's, it's, it's just not the same man and we all see it and all the shit that he went through in Hollywood running in the middle of the street saying they trying to kill him uh Working out for a movie, uh, running in 100 degree weather with full body suit on and, and and plastic bags and shit and falling out and getting a stroke. Come on, man. All this shit this dude done been through, the shit with uh, Tisha Campbell. I'm um, putting that shit on him. Shit, man. Just imagine. That's what happens when you're successful and they want to harness your goddamn gift you want to harness your gift man and then once you start speaking of speaking out about that shit that's when you get this type of shit that's when you get the you get to getting the hurdles same reason why Dave Chappelle left for that time when he left same reason so, I mean if you think about it all of them say the same thing the ones that's either blacklisted or considered conspiracy theorists which they not, they telling the truth, but that's just something that the government made, but hey, you know, what are we to say? We should give our prayers to Dr. Martin, man, and, 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 and hope that he can get better and rest up after this, man, because it's not like they just dragging him around like they dragging around a shell of Martin. When you see him at these, he, at these promotions standing so close to Will, like he can't stand up, basically he can't stand up. He, he, Will had to walk him to the crowd. Come on now. This is Martin we talking about. He had to walk him to the crowd, man. Just compare the energies, compare the energies, compare the interactions, compare the movement. It's like the steroids, cause they give you steroids when and shit like that happen. It's messing his face up. Just hard to see, man, and I hate to see that for that brother, man. But he is in our prayers, man, and we pray for his health, man. Whatever he got going on. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't hate. Common sense.